So whenever uh, there is a new morsel up or I am about to make my uh, next morsel, I always uh, visit Cat Hand's channel and watch what she uh, has done. And in one of her videos, she told us that whenever you are out of inspiration or you just don't know what to make, just do what I do. And I try to avoid that because I like to uh, give uh, the morsels that I make my own style. But at this point, I already threw two or three beer coasters in the bin. And there were a few uh, lying around on my table uh, just in case this one wouldn't work as well. They could be a um, kind of emergency uh, morsel to put up. Um, so I decided to follow Cat Hand's step and do uh, exactly what she did. So the first step was adding uh, acrylic paint to the background and I chose for a bright pink and an orange uh, acrylic paint and then I added a white acrylic paint on a brayer and add some white accents to the background. And now I'm adding some uh, circles with a, uh, a lid from a bottle and this is a little funnel that I had and I'm making some circle marks. Using the leftover paint, uh, water it down first and then uh, make some splatters. And these are some circles cut out from a piece of burlap and I'm gluing this down with a Mod Podge. I keep my Mod Podge in a little container and also in this little bottle because that works for me much better than the original bottle. And this is a uh, watered down acrylic paint, a white acrylic paint, which I keep in a little needle bottle and I'm adding some circles on the burlap. cut out a few circles from pieces of paper scraps and I'm also gluing these down on top of the burlap circles. Then I am outlining these paper circles with the Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pan. In a dark grey color, it isn't black. At that point I hadn't had uh, a black Artist Pit Pan. Now I have. And this is uh, a stamp by Finna Bear and I'm using the Stejan black ink to add some stamps. And this is the word connected I'm gluing down uh, as well and I'm outlining it with the black gel pen. And 
also using the white acrylic paint to add some splatters. And that's about it really for my mixed media morsel. I was quite happy with it, so I didn't need the emergency morsels. Uh, if you like to learn more about uh, this project, uh, there is a Facebook group which is set by Cat Hand and she also makes videos with a new technique every time. Uh, so you can join if you like. I will leave you some links in the description box so you can see um, what others have done and um, join in if you like. So as these are also my inspiration prompt cards, I am gluing down a piece of patterned paper on the back side and adding a prompt. So outlining this prompt with a black gel pen and then the last step I take with this morsel is uh, using a white acrylic paint and a sponge to paint the edges. So that's about it for a mixed media morsel number seven, circles. So remember to check out the description box. So if you like, you can join uh, the Facebook group. Thanks again so much for watching, for commenting, for liking and subscribing. And hopefully see you again next time. Bye bye.